So I've got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is we're having steaks tonight. I guess I only have good news. Uh, they found my car. So I got a call this morning on my way to work and they found the car one city away about 15 minutes. Um, I guess they parked it in a random neighborhood and it was underneath a car cover and one of the neighbors saw it and they thought it was suspicious because they don't normally have a car under a car cover in their neighborhood and it was there for like three days. So they called the cops, reported it. The cops came and checked it out and sure enough, there's my car. So. They took off my license plates. They took out everything from inside the car, the registration, the insurance information, and pretty much everything else inside the car. Um, they made a few scratches on this side. There was a chip on the windshield that wasn't there before. They caused more damage to my car in the five days they had it than in the six years that I've owned it. So that tells you something about them. Insurance should cover most of the damage. I do have a deductible, so I'll have to pay a little bit, but uh, honestly, best case scenario, it was found in relatively good condition, just like 10 miles away. So that's pretty awesome. So we towed it back to a different location. It's being stored somewhere else for obvious reasons. Insurance is going to come check it out, decide how much and damages have been caused. And we're going to get that all sorted out. I had already mentally written the car off in my mind. Like I did not think I was going to get it back. So I'm pretty thrilled right now. But at the same time, it's still really annoying that someone was in my house and someone was in my car driving it around for who knows how long doing who knows what inside. But in a really weird way, it's kind of flattering that somebody would risk their life and their freedom just to drive my car around for a while. Like I own a shotgun, an ax, a bunch of bats and knives. I own a sword. If they had broken into my house while I was here, that would have been all bad for them. Or me, I guess it could have shot me too, so who knows what happened. And if they had gotten caught by the police, they'd be in jail for who knows how long. And they risked all that just to drive my car around for a couple of days. <laughs> I'm just being optimistic here, like that's, my car is cool enough for someone to risk their life and their freedom for. It still sucks, but I'm Mr. Brightside, so whoever stole my car, I'm glad you like it enough to risk all that for. So in my last video, somebody recommended that I make merch to help pay for some of the damages. And I thought that was an amazing idea. So I made this shirt design. And when I made this, I thought the car was gone forever, but it's back now and that's awesome. But I still think the shirt design fits amazingly for the situation. So if you guys want to check that out, it's on my website, 220average.com, 220avg.com. I want to thank everyone for all the support this week. It's been overwhelming i had like a thousand people repost the picture and a ton of people looking for it a lot of messages a lot of dms thank you, all of you guys you guys are awesome and yeah we found it so yeah that's about it for this video see ya